Uh, I note that your book has been translated into Chinese. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, how did that come about and how did you feel about that? Yeah, so the book's been um, tra translated into Chinese, and it, I just signed the French translation rights, which will be interesting. I think the Chinese one is much more interesting. Um, it came about because I had a group of Chinese students studying with me at Columbia who read the book and found it absolutely fascinating, and um, for two reasons. One, they sort of didn't know that institutions like that existed in the United States. So there's a sense of uh, American exceptionalism, how America is very different from Europe, and part of that difference is that it doesn't have these kinds of institutions of almost wealth building or exclusivity. Instead, it's more flat and open. So to see the ways in which the U.S. isn't that exceptional, there's a kind of American Eaton, um, was surprising to them. It's also actually surprising to some Americans when they read it. They don't even know that some of these institutions exist. The second is that the Chinese educational system is transforming right now. It's under uh, major restructuring. And there's proposals to construct boarding schools there and these kind of elite schools. And they exist in some um, of the major urban centers. And so uh, as a kind of portrayal of what these institutions are like in the US, they thought it would be useful to bring it back to China. Um, I've yet to receive the book in China. I was told that, I mean, this is kind of a funny aside, that as soon as the book is published, it will be photocopied and sold by other people um, at all kinds of uh, college campuses, things like that. But I'm still very excited to sort of to, to see the Chinese version. They sent me the page proofs, which is the proofs of the pages before it's published so that you can check for errors. But there was, I mean, there's no way I can check for errors in Chinese. So um, um, we'll see what it, what it looks like. But it was, it was primarily because I had students who um, were from China who found it interesting and wanted to bring the book. Uh, back to China when they when they returned. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for reading the book.